okay good day guys you're welcome back to my channel i am adejima joshua joshua the designer and i create amazing tutorial videos on engineering particularly civil engineering designs and um, engineering solutions in general okay so in today's video i'll be showing you how to detail a one-way slab having obtained the designs manually or through any software that's been used okay previously in one of the videos i showed you how to manually design a one-way slab and um, we were able to obtain uh, the reinforcement the main reinforcement and for the distribution reinforcement if you can remember vividly so we have this kind of arrangement general arrangement in the um, calculations we made manually so if, in case you are just joining us for the first time please ensure you like the video and you also subscribe to be able to follow along with what we are doing in this video in this tutorial you have to check um, the previous videos that um, I made on the design of one-way slab so you can flow along with what you're doing so in the previous the, um, video I showed to us this general arrangement and um, I designed this particular slab and this is the result these are the results of the design we obtain the main reinforcement which gives R12 at 200 center to center bottom and not distribution because it's the main reinforcement so it's the bottom reinforcement and uh, we obtained for the minimum area of steel we obtained Y12 at 300 center to center bottom distribution so how then do we detail this particular panel seeing that it is not isolated seeing that it is not standing alone it is connected to two other panels so how then do we um, detail it i purposely want wanted us to see something i want to teach you how to detail um a one-way slab in one of the previous videos um, i showed you how to detail a two-way slab and now we'll be showing you how to detail a one-way slab not only a one-way slab but such that is connected to other panels this way as we have so with this design results we'll be using this to to apply our reinforcement detail okay so this is what we want to work with so um because we already have our reinforcement i wouldn't take your time on this video i'll just show you what you need to know and you get to work in case you have any challenges understanding anything we are speaking about or we're going to speak about please do well to use the comment section i'll be glad to respond to every of your queries or every of your questions and in case you need additional documents um, that i can provide then i'll be able to i'll be willing to do that thank you very much okay so i told you in um, one of the videos also that when we are detailing a slab for the main reinforcement we are actually searching it along the longer span because the flexion will occur along that same span yes so that is to say that the ones that even our direction of spanning already tells us how that our reinforcement reinforcement will go yes so for this particular panel that we're working with that means the main reinforcement is going to span along these axes yes so that is to say i'll show you something that you need to look into yes so if you look at this you discover that this panel is connected to another panel up here and which means that um, these panels are connected here and but on this end it is it is discontinuous on this end that is to say that our reinforcement cannot go beyond this panel on this end but it can cross over this particular beam support on this area or in this area okay so it will mean that if you are designing for if you are detailing for this we only make sure that it spans from here to this place so this is what we do so 
so it spans from there and it can safely end wow it can end them um, here that's fine okay so then the other one can actually span from where that one stopped yes so because um, there is continuity on this end I hope you understand what I'm trying to um, pass across to you it makes sense this way yes yeah, because on this end the panels are continuing they are connected here uh, yes and on this end it is discontinued so that is why there is an anchoring here and here there is no anchoring no cranking the bar is not cranked yes so that is to say that there will be a top support and um, top reinforcement here but will be provided from the design of this two-way slab up here yes so we'll get to that and i'll do a more complex one that will actually have the three of them the three panels detailed together so that you see how that you can go about your work if you have this kind of case yes just stay with me you'll be good in in no time you'll be good in no time paying attention asking questions where required following through all these tutorials you'll be good in no time yes so then these can actually span this now can span from where that actually stopped which is on this yeah the bees can actually come through to this space that's fine okay so i have this Okay, no. So let me just calculate the uh, number of enforcement that we require, and then we'll be, we'll be clear with that. So let me just do that. So so we have nine of that enforcement. Okay, so this is the bottom of us. So we have three seven seven five. So this gives I'd say this gives twenty. Okay. Yeah, so Okay, so we have this now and um, we are cool with the main reinforcement. That's fine. So for the distribution bar, the one that goes just above this one, we have something of that kind also yes i just want you to get what i'm doing so that you can actually reproduce that as well and then um, if you have any difficulty please do well to use the comment section and i will be glad to attend to you okay so we have this also and we can just bring it down there Then we have this. Okay, this is brilliant. And then just add this this way. You know what I told you that 
as much as you are trying to uh, make your design report reflect and in detail on the drawing also ensure that your drawing is presented in a very very um, neat way and also professional yeah so because you are not just trying to show your designs you are trying to send a message with your drawings yeah so and it's going to actually be clear and um, precise okay so I say this is seven. Then we have seven out of at three hundred. Then it's bottom distribution. Yes. So then for you notice that almost the same thing happened with this axis also so you see that on this place there is continuity and that is why we are having something like that so we have something like this also and, uh, yes so Okay, and this one just spans from from there, spans from from up there to this place okay yes so that's cool i have this reinforcement spanning from here to this place because of the discontinuous end here this discontinuity here but because of this panel and this panel they are connected definitely i will be able to cramp the reinforcement here yes so but a top support is going to connect the two of them together top reinforcement rather is going to connect the two of them so i uh, just need it this way right so this one I have my three then I copy this okay so I really hope that um, you understand what I just tried to explain to you a simply supported slab is such that the slab is supported by two opposite um, beam supports or um, wall support or whatever support it is but it is basically supported on two opposite ends that's what simply supported and that um, your main reinforcement is the one coming first spanning along the longer span and the distribution is the one coming above it or afterwards yes yeah, so and in the case of these ones that we just worked with we see that uh, we have some part discontinuous and some part continuous so that is exactly what i just showed you if you have any questions or difficulty going around all that i've said you can just drop like i said drop comments in the section and i will attend to it 